All right, we're back with New Generation Radio on AM 1460 KDWA. I'm your DJ, Reggie Bauer. Along with me in the studio, we have our guest DJs... Brian Gap And... Zach Paul. So now it is time for our trivia. And lately, we've been doing trivia quizzing on movies rather than artists. So we're going to stick with the movies theme. And this week, we're doing science fiction movies. So this is how it will go. we got this bell here. I will read you the plot of the movie, and you can just, like, blurt it out whenever you think you got it. And when I hear the right answer, then I will ring the spell. You got it? We good? Alrighty. First movie. Let me get down to the plot. Eccentric billionaire John Hammond, CEO of InGen, has recently created a theme park populated with dinosaurs cloned from the DNA extracted... Jurassic, Jurassic park. park! That was a tie. That was a tie. I'm going to have to find a tiebreaker now. Um, it's, it is best out of three though, so maybe There's somebody will still get, camping. somebody might still get two out of this one. <clears throat> Alright, next one, this one re- was released in 1994. In 1863, a gold bullion is stole from con- stolen from Confederate soldiers by a highwayman using machine pistols. Then, 131 years later, the US government creates the Time Enforcement Commission to combat misuse of the new discovery of time travel. After discovering that the same gold bullion was used in a recent arms purchase, the sen- a senator volunteers to oversee the commission, and shortly afterward, police officer Max Walker is offered a job as a TEC agent. Later that evening, Max is attacked by intruders at a suburban home, and his wife Melissa is killed in an explosion. Any idea? I'll read more of it. Ten years later, Walker is now an experienced TEC agent and is sent to 1929 to arrest his former partner, Atwood, for taking advantage of the U.S. stock market crash. Atwood reve- Oh, nice. Atwood reveals that he is working for McComb, who needs money for his presidential campaign. Terrified by McComb's threat to murder his ancestors, meaning he would never have existed, Atwood tries to kill himself by jumping out a window. Walker catches him as he falls and takes him back to 2004, but Atwood refuses to testify against McComb and the TEC agency sends him back to 1929 to the same point where he jumped previously, this time falling to his death. Any idea? No idea at all. I have no clue. This is intense like camping. Oh, you guys look like... Wow. No. (laughs) (laughs) You guys are looking like you knew this one. It was Time Cop. Do you know that one? Uh, Never heard of it, to be honest. Really? I heard of Robocop. (laughs) <laughs> That's different. Yeah, Robocop yeah. is more macho. Awesome, awesome too. Alright, this next one, hopefully one of you two gets this one to break the tie. Tied at one, one apiece right now. In 2015, cloning technology was sophisticated enough to allow the copying of human organs and animals. Reproducing a complete human is explicitly forbidden by laws named for the day when God created man. Adam Gibson is a pilot who runs a charter helicopter business with his friend Hank Morgan. Michael Drucker, the owner of Replacement Technologies, a conglomerate that specializes in cloning, charters them for a skiing trip. Due to Drucker's financial and political influence, both Gibson and Morgan undergo blood and eye tests prior to his arrival to verify their identities and aptitude. I should mention this stars Arnold Schwarzenegger. Is it the Terminator? No. Uh, no? No? <laughs> the, it's named for the day when God created man. Oh. Does that help at all? Genesis. No. It's a book in the Bible. I know. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Yeah, that's a really long plot. We're but so bad at this game. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? I'm gonna have to... Th- you can just throw out random Arnold Schwarzenegger movies and see if one of you gets it. If you have any idea. Kindergarten Cop. <laughs> <laughs> True no. Lies. Huh? True Lies. No. Oh, man. Not, no, not True Lies. Any idea whatsoever? No. Yes. No. Whispering. No the idea. one with the chop. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> that doesn't. Uh, that doesn't give me any yeah, particular. No. Oh man. Should I give it away? Yes. Yeah. That was the sixth day. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, so anyway, well, this is, yeah, it is a good movie. I just saw it a couple months ago for the first time. I loved it. It's kind of like, you know, it makes you think, though. And, like, yeah. Anyway, we, okay, I'm going to pick out a really easy one for a tiebreaker just because you guys Star seem to be. <laughs> no, I thought of that, and I was like, no, you guys have probably just sniped me right away. 
All right. High school senior Peter Parker lives in Forest Spider-Man. Hills. Spider Man. Yeah. Oh. Zach Paul got that one. <laughs> what now, Brian? Go oh, down. It's on. Like Donkey Kong. What? No. No. Enough of that. Really. No. Man, I'm a bad pun generator today. <laughs> pun generator. Nice. Puns. All right. Will you quit it? It's like there's an entire punkin patch. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Oh. <laughs>